welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and another new puzzle today. But don't forget to check out our Patreon page where uh, we've got the Looney Tunes Sudoku Hunt. Here's one of the protagonists wondering whether they will get the sandwich if you solve that puzzle hunt right. This is, uh, well, I was going to say Tweety Pie, but quite a lot of people have said Tweety Bird. And indeed, there's been some... Um, differences of opinion over the gender of Tweety Bird, but who knows? Anyway, uh, that is over on Patreon for those of you who have joined us there. The competition lasts until the 20th. Loads of correct answers in. Also quite a lot of incorrect answers as well. Um, worth looking again to interpret the final instructions perhaps for some. Anyway, that is there. Also, tomorrow we will be streaming The Witness at last. Uh, nearly a week since the last one now, possibly over a week actually. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but Simon will be cracking on with the puzzles there. And that will be at 10pm our time if you want to join us live. But we will also be putting up the video. Um, no spoilers, please. I'll be on hand to try and stop those. <laughs> now, also going on... We have a crossword video on Patreon at the moment. Um, that's just gone up in the last couple of days. And of course, our apps and merchandise. You might fancy a drink from your Cracking the Cryptic water bottle with its knowledge bomb on. Um, excellent stuff there. Anyway, let's have a look at this puzzle, which looks like a thermo puzzle and isn't. This is from Derek Orr, and it's called Accelerometer. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Thermometers, however, act like accelerometers. The difference between two consecutive digits on a thermo must increase from the bulb end. For example, 1, 2, 4, 9 is a valid thermo, and you can see the differences there are going 1, 2, 5, so they're always increasing. But 1, 2, 3, 9 is not, because 1, 2, 3 don't have increasing differences, so we accelerate as we go up the thermometer from the bulb. That is the point. Now, it looks to me like there's there ought to be plenty of information. I know we only get one given. We expect no more these days. But surely those are going to be much more helpful thermos than the normal thermos. Anyway, I have no idea. Do give it this a try on the link under the video. And I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Well, that given is right there, sitting on the tip of a thermo that surely has to go 1, 2, 4, 7. I don't see how you could possibly do it without... That's an increase of 1, an increase of 2, and an increase of 3. That must be the minimum. 7 must be the minimum for a 4-cell tail. And that has to be right, I think. So then this digit before it... I suppose we could start from 3 and do exactly the same increments. So three, four, five, four, five, six. Well, now I'm getting confused. Three, four, six, nine. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. Oh no, I see. No, sorry, I'm not not understanding this yet. Let's delete those. So obviously, it can go one, two, four, seven, like this one. And it could also end in 8 or 9 with the same things. But if it went 1, 2, 5, ah, yes, then you could get 1, 2, 5, 9. That's still obeying the rule. But maybe you can't do anything else. Yes, you could increase these. So that can be 2 or 3. That can be 3 or 4. If it goes 3, 4, 6, 9, that's obeying the rules as well. So that... That's weird. If I've got that right, that does end up with three possibilities in each cell. But that feels odd because they don't all go together. Like normally, if you're doing three possibilities in each cell on a fully pencil mark thermo, it's got to be three, four, six, nine or something. But here, Ah, oh, it's strange. Yeah, this is an interesting... Okay, this puzzle is a bit more interesting than I'd realised. So I'm going to mark the same pencil marks on these other... Oh, there's lots of four-cell thermos. Okay, I didn't, didn't even see that. So there's four more. Two, three, and four. I think I've got these possibilities right. Four, five, six there as well. And then seven, eight, or nine on the tip. 
That might help. Um, now, what else? Box three is where all the accelerom the naughty accelerometers are congregating, isn't it? So what's going on with this one? Got to start with a three. No, no, it doesn't. It could go five. It could, yeah, it could go five, six, eight or nine. So this, it could go three, five, eight or nine or five, six, eight or nine. I think that's all it can do. But I am beginning to wonder about this. Now, I don't think this can ever be eight. It certainly can't be nine because it's not on the tip. I don't think it can be eight either because that would only give a difference of one to the tip and then this couldn't be a smaller difference. So this can't be eight. So that is three, five or six as well, which is giving us a triple. That's eight or nine. Now, if that, I don't think we can do much more here. This could be any number just below three, five, or six. This is this puzzle is surprising me already. Right, um, this one can't be one or two. Now that might be useful, but it could still be as high as six with a six, seven, nine. There, and it can't be eight there. I think that's right. This must be at least six. So I think those pencil marks will be right. Um, but I'm not really getting very far with this. So my, my presumptions were pretty poor about it. Right, hang on though. That's a one, two, three, four quad. And I think that's right. I mean, I've done this pencil marking right, surely. You couldn't start with a four because you'd have to go four, five, seven, ten, or something. Um, this can't be a five. No, that's right. Okay, so that one, two, three, four quad is right. So this becomes a five, six pair. And the other cells in the column are seven, eight, and nine. Now, ruling four out from these cells, what does that do to the ones before it? This can't be a four anymore. Is that? No, that's not true. In fact, look at the column. One of them has to be a four. So that certainly isn't true. So one of them is a four. Ah, but then the difference has to be two to the next one. So wherever it's a four, it goes with a six here. But the other one could be three or two. Wow, okay, I'm struggling through this now. Well, and I mean, I really have to take my hat off to Derek. This is not the puzzle I thought it was going to be at all. Um, so let's have a look maybe down here. This can go as high up as six as well. So hardly worth pencil marking. Same true, same is true for this. Is this any more helpful because of the two and four we got given, um, or effectively given? Can't be a one, so three, five, or six, or even seven, if that was a six. Then we've got to have a jump of at least two, so this would have to be five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, simpler question. Where does one go in this column? I think we can all do that we bother to ask ourselves that simple question. Right, that tells us where one goes in column one. It's gotta be here. Hang on, ruling two out, of, ruling one out of there rules two out of here, and that does rule four out of here, and seven out of here. So that did run all along the thermo. Anyway, we get this as a one, which does very little. Oh, it stops this being a one, and that runs along this thermo. Um, interesting. Now, where does three go? Well, it could be there or it could be there, but it can't be here in this column. In fact, could it be there? Yes, two, three, almost anything. Um, 
ah, this now cannot be the one that goes 4, 6. We knew that one of these two goes 4, 6. It can't be this one, because that would be differences of 3, then 2. Ah, oh, this is weird, isn't it? 4, 6. Sorry, I'm trying to type in 4, 6. There we go. Now this has to be a bigger jump, so that's 9. This one has to be a smaller jump than 2, so that is a 3. Maybe these things do run more in sequence than I'd realised. Um, 5 or 7 there. Ah, oh, that 9 is looking across to this 8, 9 pair. Now, maybe that will let us do this. Although I don't think so. Oh, 6 is looking across at that. So that's a 3, 5 pair. So that's 6. This difference has to be less than 3, so that's 5. That's 3. This is 5 or 8, because it's bigger than 3. This is 1 or 2. 8, 2, 1, 9. Right, now 6 can come out of those. Ah, oh, now we've got 9, 5, and 1 down here. So can we deal with... Oh, well, this has become not a 4. Ah, oh, that's not a 6. That's even more important. 5 there. Now, to get this difference continually increasing, that's a 2. So then there's a jump of 3. So then there has to be a jump of 4. And that's 9 as well. 9 comes off there and off there. Now, this one, that can't be 7 anymore, because then the jump to the final cell could only be 1. So that's a 5. This now is obviously 3 or 4. This can't be 6 anymore. So now we've got a 7, 8 pair in row 4. This puzzle is not going the way I expected ever. So clever. Um, 6, 9, 3, 5. That's a naked single 7. Got one, two, and eight to go there. That's a triple in the row, so seven and nine go in there. Ordinary Sudoku, I'm a bit more comfortable with that rather than accelerometers. Um, seven, nine, okay, let's leave that for now. Four, six, nine, right, this has become a three, ah, so we now know three, four, six, nine does the job. Three, five, nine, seven, eight. So four is in one of those cells. Six is in one of those. Um, read across. Come on. Three, four. No, I'm not seeing it. Yes, three changes this into a four. So now that must be six and that must be nine. This has to be a difference of less than two. So that's a three. Stops this being a three and this actually. Now this can't be a 4, or we can't keep increasing the differences. That might not be true. 2, 4, no, that's okay. Uh, this can't be a 5, that's unsurprising. Right, 3 is in one of these two cells. Don't know what that does. Can this be a 5? No because that would have to be a 3. Oh, it can. 5, 3, 2. Right. Now this one, I've put off doing this forever. This now has to start with a 2, because we can't start with a 7 or an 8, and it sees everything else. One, six, seven, two, five. Then we have 3. That has to be a 3. Then we've got 7 or 8 there. Okay, that has to be right. This is a naked single 5, that's 7 or 8, that's a 7, 8 pair, so we've got a 3, 5 pair in the other cells, 1, 2 and 9, we know the 9 goes here because we have 9s in row 4 and 5 already, 1 and 2 pair there, that 1 and 2 pair makes this a 3, now this can't be a 6 or we wouldn't get increasing differences, and it can't be a 4 or we couldn't have starting increasing differences. So now that has to be a 2. That fixes this as a 1. That is a 2. Once you get your head around this, it does make a lot of sense, actually. But that's taken a while. Four. That has to be 4. I don't think I 
can finish these off. Those remaining um, thermo accelerometers in columns eight and nine. So that is a six because it sees a seven, eight pair. Then that seven, eight pair makes this four and six. We can put a six in there as well. What other numbers here? A one and a three. And I don't know the order. That's weird. Yes, I do. That's a one. Sorry. Failure to scan because I am a stormtrooper. Um, my shooting is that good too. Four there. Six there. Right. That's now a four. Three there. That difference is two. So this difference is three. And that fixes the eight, seven pair. It's... I like this. This is very clever. Um, right. I think we're finishing off now, though. Five and two there. That is seven or eight, so that's a four. One, five, seven, triple here. That is a seven. That fixes the eight and seven. That makes this eight. Two, six, nine. We can fill those in on the bottom row. Let's get rid of seven and five and seven as possibilities there. Now, nine, four, five, that can't be eight either. So that's a one, seven pair. That's a two, one, two, one and three. This is the last one. So one and three means that must be an eight. Can't be a five or the differences wouldn't increase. And since I have finally understood the rule and how to apply it, I can use it. Seven there, eight and seven, and there we go. That is a neat little puzzle. Very nice idea by Derek there. Um, haven't seen anything quite like that, and it really didn't work the way I was expecting. There was, in the end, a lot of information, which was what I thought at the beginning, but actually using it, slightly different matter. Hope you had a go at that. Thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.